Well, if you look at the Sustainable Development Goals, all those 17 goals, uh, this is a list of our problems, most important problems. And we are deciding that we want to bring it to a reasonable level so that we don't have to continue beyond that, like for poverty, for hunger, for climate change and all those. So within 15 years, we'll have concentrated efforts to make sure uh, we can undo the problems that we created in the past. So my position is why don't we keep on doing efforts to make sure we take care of these 17 goals. At the same time, undo the things, change the thing, correct the things which went wrong. And that's where we have to concentrate on. For example, the economic framework that we created. 1% uh, of the world's population own 99% of the wealth of the entire world. And tomorrow it will be worse. We created a financial system uh, which uh, is concentrated on the lucky ones. Uh, unlucky ones is completely forgotten. So that's where it's not just giving microcredit. Microcredit is important, but it's all question of redesigning a financial institution which is available to everybody who has been uh, rejected before. It has already uh, uh, proven that it's a very important tool. If you leave people out of the uh, financial system, uh, they are at the mercy of everybody else. If we had the supportive financial institution, I don't have to be dependent on anybody. I can take care of myself. I can go out, take the money, and start my own life, my career. All these women who take loans from microfinance banks and NGOs, they are not looking for jobs. They are not applying for uh, finding a job opportunity. They are instantly creating an entrepreneurship. They become entrepreneurs, they grow, and so on. But this has to be done as a part of the whole entire financial system. So it should not be something like a footnote uh, in some uh, financial discussion. Now we have uh, ground is prepared so that we can create financial institution. NGOs can become microfinance banks. Uh, they are doing the whole thing, but they are not given license because the law doesn't allow that kind of thing. I said, change the law, create the law so that microfinance NGOs can become uh, microfinance uh, banks so that they can address all these issues. And there are several banks uh, in microfinance. Grameen Bank is an example. It's a bank and uh, it has covered uh, many aspects of this. Uh, rejection that uh, we have been suffering from. Not only it provides a loan, it provides a savings facilities, insurance facilities, pension funds, student loans. Provide all the services, not just one or two services and stop there and say we have done it. We have not done it. That's where the technology is important, that's where young people is important, the social business is important. All things have to be merged together so that we can move forward. So first of all, it's a problem-solving business that has no other purpose but problem-solving. And it, since it is devoted to problem-solving, there is no intention of making personal money out of it. So these two are very close together. Uh, so we call it um, non-dividend company to solve human problems. Investors can take back the investment money, but nothing more than that. It's all intention of the person. It's not a law, it's not something that we have fulfilled. So we defined it our way, this is what we call social business. business. In social business, we design the business to make the impact. So the CEO has to report how much uh, of that objective has been achieved. Take the case of uh, our joint venture with Danone with the malnutrition. We produced a special yoga to address the problem of malnutrition in the children of Bangladesh. The f what does the CEO of this company tell the board at the end of the year? Tell how many children have been eating this uh, yoga? Uh, how many of them are poor children with malnutrition? Because if you are poor children, that you are malnourished. So our main goal is you have to show how many of the poor children are eating this. That's our impact because we, that's what we wanted to enter. If you're not reaching enough, what is your marketing strategy? Because you're not reaching the poor children. So we have addressed that, because that's the purpose of the whole company. Social business is something which comes from your heart. 
is not something come from your book. See. Tells you that uh, if you want to solve problems, there is a way. You can solve the problem by creating a business dedicated to this purpose, and we call it social business. So people become interested. So companies see what they can do, uh, and they want to make uh, their uh, role as a significant role in helping the uh, solve problems. In charity, money goes out, does a wonderful work, but the money doesn't come back. So if you can transform it into a business model uh, with a social business idea, that we can transform the charity into a social business. Then it becomes very powerful because money goes out, does the work, and comes back. Then you can reuse it again and again. So same money has much more possibilities, much more potential than the charity money has. Credit Agricole, Beolia, uh, and Danone. These are examples where they came forward on their own because they felt it strongly. They are very completely uh, convinced in it and want to do. That's why they stay on it. It's not just one time I did it, okay, that's enough for me. It's not like that. They continue, continue to make it bigger, reach out more people. The simple thing is uh, to believe that we can do it. It's not something uh, impossible. Uh, we are in the phase of the world's history where all impossibles can be made possible. So it's a question of making up our mind. If we make up our mind, we'll make it happen. Uh, technology is there, creativity is there, entrepreneurship is there. Young people are best suited for uh, addressing all these issues, how to redesign things. So redesigning is a essence of the whole time. It's not just doing the same thing over again, little less and little more, not, not that kind. You have to redesign the concept, redesign the framework so that we can make it happen. So there'll be businesses of two kinds, one business to make money, one business to solve problem. You can do both, so you choose your thing. So give people options, give young people options which way they want to go. Unemployment is a major issue, we should address that. <clears throat> we should believe that we are entrepreneurs, not job seekers. Then suddenly everything changes. So use your creative power and make sure what you are using it for. You are using it for creating a new civilization. A civilization which will not have these, all these 17 troubles that we have. Uh, and we can start a new, a fresh uh, beginning. That's the important part of it. It's a great gathering. I invite uh, all the business people, young people, social activists and people everywhere to come and listen, find out what you can do because you are the essence of the whole issue. You as a person, as a person, you can change the world. You don't have to wait for governments to do things. You don't have to wait for World Bank to do it. You don't have to wait for uh, United Nations to do it. It's very important institutions. They will do their job. But if you do it, their job will become much more powerful because you are behind it and you will be providing the leadership.